right, thanks, Scott. For more than a year and a half, residents of Doyleen have had a ticking time bomb in their backyard at Camp Minden. But thanks to pressure from lawmakers, cleanup is just around the corner. Fox 33's Annie Anderson has the details. Since more than 20 million pounds of M6 propellant was found illegally stored at Camp Minden in 2012, U.S. Senator Mary Landrew and other lawmakers have worried about who's going to foot the bill. First for moving the explosives and now for destroying them. In March, the Environmental Protection Agency announced that the Department of Defense was responsible for destroying the explosives. Landrew agreed with that decision, pushing for the Army to accept responsibility. It was their contractor, it's their property, and it has not been disposed of uh, correctly. Immediately, the Army appealed that decision. But at a meeting today in Washington, D.C., Landrew and others got news they've been waiting months to hear. Finally, after pushing and pushing, the Army finally came to the table to say that they had some responsibility. Now, I think they need to take full responsibility, and we're going to continue to work to make sure that that happens. But that work may have just gotten easier. This afternoon, the EPA announced they had denied the Army's appeal, a decision that, according to Landers office, will become official in just five days. That's something Sheriff Gary Sexton was pleased to hear, knowing time is of the essence, since the M6 will eventually self-incinerate. The big factory is getting this cleaned up before we have another explosion for the safety of the people there in Webster Parish, Gold Lane, in the middle of the sitting there and is continuing to deteriorate, so time is a big factor in this matter right here. But it appears he won't have to wait much longer. The Army has just 10 days to let the EPA know their cleanup plans.